It's been more than a decade since the last manned aircraft landed at Oneida County Airport here in upstate New York. On a windy day in late October, it went to the drones, with firefighters and police officers converging from all over the state for hands-on training and peer-to-peer -peer networking. This event is strictly um, for us to network, learn, share ideas, and have a good time. Safety is first, though. Today we're at the State Preparedness Training Center in Oriskany, New York, and we've set up a couple different scenarios. We have a rubble pile, we have a search and rescue scene, we have an indoor tactical mission scene set up, and uh, these pilots will be able to fly several different missions over several different scenarios today. And they'll be able to learn from other public safety officials that have been doing it a lot longer and some of the best pilots in the industry. You know, the idea came up several months ago, and uh, we've just been plugging away and putting it together. Don't be doing this. Drone newcomers and less experienced pilots learned tried and true techniques. Everything from thermography to the easiest way to calibrate that compass. Part 107 doesn't require actual any flight time. All you need to do is take a written test. Uh, we would love to see some flight time be included in that certification. And events like this will help allow these pilots to get some training and get some flight time in a scenario that's controlled but pretty lifelike and allow them to, to be better prepared when, it, when the real life scenario does occur. We have never done an event like this before, but we plan on doing more of these events. Again, public safety is an area where we see early adoption of these types of missions and we want to help enable that and make sure they're doing things safely and doing things right. In Oriskany, New York, I'm Jim Moore, AOPA Live.